back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here, and it is Monday. So I thought this week we'd do something fun, since nobody really left me suggestions on what to draw. This week I'm going to do a randomizer. Uh, so this is just a spin wheel app editor. Um, and so I just typed in a list of like superhero names and villains. And on the other screen I have uh, like genre type things, so like cyberpunk fantasy, and then threw in some like ancient culture stuff too. Um, so for Monday, we're going to do traditional, Tuesday uh, traditional, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I'll probably do uh, digital for that. So for this Monday, let's go ahead and take a spin and see who we're drawing first. I'm just kind of need to write down the name. So I'm going to draw the Flash today. And in what category we're going to do a medieval knight. Okay, so we're going to do Flash as a medieval knight. And I hope you enjoy the video. All right. All right, so we're going to get started on this. And first, a little caveat. I did lie. I said traditional, but then I really thought of this cool idea of turning each picture into like a comic book cover for like the comic itself. So the first thing I did was I just kind of set up a you know basic pose of someone running, um, some lightning uh, that wraps around the body, uh, just basically just real generic kind of sketch lines. And now I'm doing another sketch layer above those lines. So I'm just starting on the body first. Um, and I'm putting in detail but not. So it's like I'm just really trying to get the outline. And because it, we're going with medieval, I'm thinking about the armor and where it's going to place, how it wraps around the body, and also how I want my color divides and things like that. So like you can see, I'm putting the flash symbol. I thought about putting his little... Uh, uh, wavy bolts on the side of his head, but then I thought, nah, I'll stick with just the hood. So uh, now I'm creating a new layer on top of that, and I'm now going into the detailed line. So this is going to include all the shading and the inking. And again, I tend to lean more towards what looks cool as opposed to what is accurate. So even though I am basing the light coming in from the right side, um, I do tend to kind of then take my shadows in a way of what looks cool and also helps cut down on the amount of like individual line details so, like I can really black out more areas than not um, and just going in and add little things so like I, I just kind of wing it as I go like the big chunky shadow areas um, I really tend to uh, you know fill in w with some accuracy but then there's some little things like on the arm and stuff putting in like little extra lines just to show that it's glaring. Um, I tend to uh, just kind of wing that. You know, if it looks good, I'll keep it. If not, I'll erase it and try it again. Um, but, you know, anywhere that there's an overlap in, like, the belt or the armor, I try to darken that area a lot more. Um, and then uh, with the cloth and stuff like that, so it's kind of like a, a mix of, like, a uh, like a rogue knight because the flash is fast so I wouldn't want to bog him down with super heavy armor because this one look right um, and of course I didn't give him a sword or shield because why would he need it he's the fastest man alive so <laughs> he wouldn't need it to really defend himself but to just fit with the times uh, in case he runs too fast someone gets a lucky stab off or something <laughs> you know I, I wanted him to have that armor um, but then I, I kind of went with like a um, like a Knights Templar slant meets a uh, um, like Assassin's Creed type motif because again I wanted to convey that kind of a rogue uh, knight kind of thing where he's a little bit more lightweight um, and so it's not too heavy so I didn't have to put a helmet on his face so that it would still know that it's a human under there um, and now I'm just going in and just drawing over the lines for my lightning uh, that going that I sketched into place uh, that'll go over the top and then I kind of have some grab detail with some smoke and stuff because he's running fast with the armor on it does add a little extra weight so I wanted to breaking up the ground a little bit 
And then I just added in some hills and mountains too to just kind of complete the whole thing. And I've already made a logo. So I'm doing the traditional red and gold armor so that he's still recognizable as the Flash. Um, I was a little torn on what to do the cloth material as, so eventually I settled on just doing it all red, and it ends up looking nice. Once I get all that filled in, um, you know, I move to this under layer. Uh, I just decided to go with like what would be available at the time, so like more like brown, tan, uh, you know, undergarments. And then I move on to the background layer. And if you can tell, I'm just putting in all the color flats right now. I'm not really worried about shadows or anything just yet. Um, you know, getting that mountain range in, putting in a sky. Um, and now I put in the glow for the lightning bolt. And um, then I outlined the lines of the lightning and just colored that yellow so it looked a little bit more natural. And now I just do the shadow layers. Now on this one, I just wanted to start with the background first. So I decided to go in and um, just drop it to 50% and just call it shadow. And then I put those shadows in. And then, of course, I start working on the shadow for the character itself. Once I'm done with the shadows, um, you know, I could leave it like that, but I wanted to bring it to life a little bit more. So I put in some highlights on the armor because I wanted to, you know, make it look metallic. So I, I went in and added... Um, like I would pick the red and then go a little bit brighter and then red again, that color go a little bit brighter than that. And that would add in those highlights. And then once I was done, I just kind of put in the, uh, the flash logo with the words medieval on it. And that was pretty much it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you think down in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe. Until then, keep sketching, and I will see y'all in the next one, all right? Bye.